Hey guys, how you doing? Happy full moon. It's the Aquarius full moon, back to back. Full moons in Aquarius. That's a lot of Aquarius. It really is. Um, and so that makes this full moon a blue moon. And to be honest with you guys, I feel like some of y'all are a little bit blue. I And I know that's not what a blue moon means, but I just feel like everyone's a little bit blue. I feel like there's a lull in the energy. Cancer season was rough. And Leo season, while initially, had a big burst of energy. I feel like it kind of fizzled out. Um, right around the Lion's Gate, I feel like it kind of fizzled out. And there was like a bit of a lull in the energy. And so I'm feeling like you guys might need a bit of a refresher. I feel like we kind of need to brush the dust off of our shoulders from, from the last two seasons and get like some, a little fresh energy. Let's get a little fun. Let's put a little boogie in it. New coat of paint, if you will. And I, I really wanted to do something for the full moon, but I didn't necessarily want to do a tarot reading. Um, so I feel very guided to do an energy working instead. And so I think moving forward, instead of doing... Um, tarot readings, oracle readings for the lunar shifts, like the full and the new moon, I think I'm going to do energy work instead, especially because I love energy work. And so much of what I do for my clients and what I do behind the scenes is energy workings of all varieties. Um, and so I feel way more guided and way more excited to do it that way. And I was thinking about energy work in general and how oftentimes we go into it um, very serious, very stoic sometimes even a little solemn. Um, and energy working, it is it is serious business, trust me. Um, but at the same time, I feel like there's an element that energy work should be more fun, right? Um, and Aquarius is also very much of like a communal sign. It is so much more communal versus self. Kind of, you know, so I feel like, especially for an Aquarius full moon, the energy working should kind of feel like a barbecue. It should like feel like everyone coming together because I also feel like when we're having fun um, that it, it immediately lets your guard down. It immediately ships you up to a higher vibration. And so that's what I want to do today. So that's what I'm going to do. So I have a song um, for this energy working. It's a little bit funky, but um, I'm excited about it. So if you would like a bit of an energy clearing, a bit of a refresher, Get a little, get a little lightness, a little brightness back in your spirit. Then hang out with me for like the next eight to 10 minutes. And I can do that for you if you don't want this. My energy will not breach your sovereignty. So you don't have to accept it. Um, we will not cross any boundaries if you don't want it. But if you do, I'm here. So if you're ready, Freddie, we're going to get started. Very good. Very good. So. Just nestle yourself in, get yourself comfortable. What are you doing? You're in a chair, you're on the floor, you're in bed, you're walking around your house, you're vacuuming, cool. Just kind of nestle yourself in, take a big, big deep breath. Let it out. Another deep breath. Let it out. One more. Let it out. You ready? Let's go.
Okay. Ooh, 11, 11. Ooh, that's, that's a good sign. We finished right on 11, 11. How do you feel? Do you feel good? And Aquarius was the 11th house. Look at that. Um, how do you feel? Do you feel good? I hope you feel better. I hope you feel a little clearer, a little lighter, a little more re-energized. Um, I do. So I hope you do. You all did very well. You did very well. Um, so yeah, so this was like your little bit of an energy working for the Aquarius full moon. We kind of cleared out like so much of that density. It was just like, it was almost gone, but it was just like a little stuck. So we just kind of separated it off, cleared it all out, kind of reset everything, put some like new, beautiful golden light in there, fresh, bright, happy, excited, thanking Leo season for what it did for us, thanking the full moons for what they just did for us, but very eager and excited to just move into a new season, both astrologically, personally, individually, spiritually, good stuff, all really, really good stuff. So thank you so much for letting me into your energy to do that working for you. I very much appreciate your involvement. I very much appreciate your trust, your faith in me, your faith in the divine uh, being channeled through me. I would like to thank the divine for making it possible for me to come forward and, and help do this work for you guys, with you guys. Um, and I love you so much. And I hope you have a wonderful full moon. And I will see you in Virgo season. Goodbye.